Hey everybody, it's Nessa here from Nessa's Hair Extensions um, at 696 Activa Avenue in Kitchener. Um, now, today's video is really about hair grades. Um, I had a lovely lady come in for a consultation because she just wanted to know more about um, these hair extensions that she was looking to purchase. Um, and she wanted to know my opinion on whether they were good quality and if she's, is she being ripped off or is she getting a good deal and so forth and um she wasn't buying these extensions from me but you know i said hey yeah sure let me let me give you drop a little knowledge on you um now the lady she was about to purchase the hair extensions from um was selling her so apparently some very high quality hair extensions um 120 grams for those of you out there that is about a that's, that's all. It was halo extension. So it was, it's a good amount to really thicken up your hair um, at $100. Now, for me, I'm like 120 grams of hair retailing at $100. That's either not that good quality or you found somebody who's offering you a fantabulous deal and that you need to take it. So this was her predicament. Now, when she came to me and she's like, so what's your opinion on that? And I'm like, well, I don't, I don't have one yet because I don't know what grade this hair is and what, or what brand it is. Could you ask her? Um, and she, she was sitting in front of me. She's like, of course I will. Yeah. Let me text her right now. Now. So this lovely lady texted her and I swear there was a furious, like five texts in 30 seconds. I swear coming back from this lady who was trying to sell her hair going, you don't know anything about hair grades. It's all made up. It's not real. I could tell you it's 9A hair and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. This is good quality hair. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, oh, somebody is touchy. Because literally she just texted her, hey, can you tell me what grade it is and what brand it is, right? So that to me, right, you know, brought up a couple of alarm bells. It's either not really as good as she's saying or this lady is just incredibly sensitive to questions. Anywho, so of course what I had was this really nice lady sitting in front of me, totally confused, because here I'm going, yeah, yeah, there's a grading system. And then you get, she gets this text going, yeah, it's all made up, it's it's all bull criddle. And so now she's confused. So this is um, really a video for those of you out there who are totally confused by the grading system and have no clue, like, am I getting good quality stuff or am I not? Um, so yes, uh, so I'm going to break it down to you using an analogy of meat uh, as, as well. Uh, but firstly, firstly, if you go do some research, you will get, it's like black and white. You'll have people like me going, yeah, there's totally a grading system. Sorry, I have my cat. <laughs> yes, cuddles for you. Um, you'll have them going, yes, there's totally a grading system. Um, and then you'll have other people who are like, no, it's totally made up. It's completely fake. It's only there so people can sell you the same hair, but at a higher price. And um, so, yeah, let, let's let's so let's let's address that first. Now, do I believe that, you know, when people say it's made up, of course it's made up. Of course, the grading system is made up. Every grading system there has ever been has been made up. The reason why it's been made up, not to say it's not valid, um, is because the market has changed. It simply has. There is now so many people that are now wearing hair extensions. And whenever there is a high demand for any product, you're going to have people who cut corners on their products. So I'll put the analogy in meat. So let's say hair extensions is now chicken. Um, back in the old days, there was one quality of chicken because farmers back then who supplied our chicken there was only one way to raise chickens, you know, you feed them, you keep them healthy, um, they walk around, get fat, and then you you, you, you slaughter them, and, and that was it. You generally didn't have... Oh, okay. <laughs> cat, I love you. Yes, I know I can't do this. Sorry. You generally have a uh, just one standard of chicken. However, as the world's population grows, the market for fast, cheap, and easy food changes. So of course, now what you have is you have a bunch of corporations who have hen houses filled with thousands of chickens in a small space who are in their own feces, who are very unhealthy and are pumped full of antibiotics. And that is why in the grocery store, you have a grading system of meat where you have grade A meat versus the battery caged chicken. So, or, you know, you where you have regular chicken, which 
you know, you can get a whole one for 10 bucks versus the free range chicken, which is 20 bucks. Um, and that's a grading system. Same thing happened with hair. The market exploded. Celebrities are wearing extensions. It's no longer a taboo. There's wigs, there's blood, and everybody's fabulous. And of course, higher demand means people are cutting corners. So how do people understand what exactly they're getting? Because it's not as if, oh, people are just snipping the hair off and then it's like, yeah, you got great quality hair. No, it's an industry now. And um, we need the grade and the grading system was made up in order for wholesalers like me and just the general public to understand what they're buying. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying like, oh, if it's lower grade hair, it's shit or no, you can't get it. Hey, everybody's got a different budget and every grade of hair works for an individual based on how well they can take care of it. But it's nice for you to know what you're getting. So, for example, um, when hair extensions were just coming out like years and years ago, um, there was actually only three, like you could only get up to 3A uh, of hair. That was it. That was just like you can get 1A, 2A, 3A, or A, 2A, 3A, right? And that's going to tell you, oh, A, um, it used to be just determined on, oh, is it is there shedding? Um, uh, and, and, you know, how it's made, like is it strong and so forth. Um, and has it been processed? Like, has it been dyed or anything like that um, before? Now you have all these different grades to determine, yes, if it's shedding, if it's dyed, but now you want to know, is it, did it come from a young person? Did it come from an old person? How, like, at what stage of this hair was it cut? Because there's some ladies who grow their hair out till it's dragging on the the, frown, the the ground. Do you want to know if you got the hair that came closer to the scalp, which is the healthiest, or the hair that came from the end, which is has been dead for years? So that's what we do. We, we, we now grade hair. Now, I've rambled on for about seven minutes, and I'm not going to lie, with all the kids that I've had, I forget things mid-sentence. So I hope I've made a good point there, um, or help, under, help anybody out there to understand. So when you're now purchasing hair and somebody says the grading system is made up with this in mind you can now make your own decision as to whether you believe it or not word of caution though um it is difficult for people who are novices or, or new to hair uh, to understand the grading system so if you have a person like me that is available in your local area to discuss it with before you go and purchase your hair um please do so because there are a, a lot of suppliers out there who will say, yeah, they'll sell you grade A, uh, sorry, trip um, 3A hair and say, hey, yeah, this is grade 6A. But if you don't know about it, yeah, you are paying more money for something that isn't very, very good at all, right? So, and it's kind of like the same way you buy a white t-shirt. One, one tag has Walmart on it and the other tag has diesel on it, made in the same place, but so you're paying for the same thing, but it's just like, yeah, one's $150 and one's, or sorry, one's $5 and one's $150, right? Right, so, okay. So I'm hoping you have, uh, are still awake and have survived my rambling on um, hair grades. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions that you want answering, please definitely leave a comment below. Or um, you can always uh, hit me up on Facebook at facebook forward slash necessary extensions. Or also, there's loads of information on my website at www.nessishairextensions.com. So please enjoy happy hair purchasing. Um, and yes, go out there and do so with knowledge. Thanks again. Bye.